All right, so model 12 uh, offers a option to create frame by frame animation. Now, for those, know, for those who don't know who, uh, what that is, uh, frame by frame basically means that you make animation by drawing different frames on the timeline. Um, so um, with mode 12, you can do that by using uh, something that is called the frame by frame layer. So if you click right here, you can see it's already there, the frame by frame layer. Um, and this then this one is created so we just name it layer 2 for now <clears throat> and if you click on this arrow right here you can see that there's a layer uh, a vector layer inside of it um, and this um, on this vector layer we can draw anything we want so what I do I take to draw a shape tool and I'm going to draw a ball just very basic like this um, then I'm going back right here and I'm going to put the ball a little bit here down below like this so um, what what what's also what you also see is that when you're on the frame by frame layer these three buttons have appeared which are not visible if you're on the vector layer or any other layer um, and with these buttons we are able to make drawings on the timeline uh, which you're not able to do uh, on the vector layers uh, except on frame zero. So uh, now we are going to use those buttons to create uh, a frame by frame animation of a ball going up. So we go to frame one and we start with the plus button. So while you're on the frame by frame layer you click on the plus and you see several things. You see first that the ball has disappeared. You see that a keyframe is created and you see that a new vector layer has been created and on this vector layer there is no ball but if you go back to the layer one la uh, the layer one you see that the ball is still there so what has happened is it's like a switch layer we have now switched to layer two where nothing is visible and so if we go back to the frame by frame layer you you see that you are able to draw something right now um, so we take the draw shape tool and what we do we just draw a ball um, <clears throat> just like layer one but this time a little bit higher so you can see the 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 cross the set origin cross right here and we are going to draw it a little bit higher than that like this and then maybe put it a bit here there we go and so if we would take a look we can adjust a few things, like putting it a bit to the right. And we could adjust a whole lot more, but it's just to show an example, so I'll leave it like it is. So, what happens is you get this effect. Um, and so if you would go through all the frames and make drawings of the ball and on new layers and put the ball higher each time, you get frame by frame animation of a ball going up. Uh, finally, there's also a second and uh, faster way to make frame by frame animation and that is with this button, the duplicate frame. So right now on frame one, we have the ball going up. So if we go to frame two, we click on duplicate. So the same thing happens again. A third layer is now created, but this time the ball is already on that layer instead of layer two where there was nothing. So then all you have to do is take the transform layer tool or the transform points tool um, and we just put it a little bit higher like this and so if you would go back to frame zero you see it's a ball going up and that is a, a way to use frame by the frame by frame layer to create animation if you found this video helpful then please subscribe for more I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday on how to work with Mo12. Thanks for watching guys.